Okay, let's see how this uh, Liberty uh, Canola and Vigor Canola L130 is going to perform on, on the farm under the Ultimate Yield Management uh, Institute system. Uh, today it's all come down to October 10th, 2014. We're going to take Hans here, our, uh, our friendly combine, and uh, calibrate it and uh, do a couple of weigh-outs and see what, uh, what a good field average is uh, doing for L130 under our uh, management system, uh, which scored uh, 92 on this field under the Ultimate Yield uh, Agronomy system. So uh, we're going to hop in and get the truck weighed and uh, zero it out and uh, combine two hopper loads, weigh it out and uh, see what the official uh, field yield is for L130 here uh, 37 miles south of Battleford, Saskatchewan. Uh, 21 miles north of Bigger, and we're kind of excited to hop in and see what happens. A wonderful day of gathering information about the whole year of planning. So far what we've learned is that the uh, overall the later maturing varieties uh, appear to have suffered more in, because of late seeding. Um, Preliminary results indicate that the uh, L130 uh, uh, results are basically, uh, we haven't got the final exact dockage numbers yet, but uh, in, in the, right in the neighborhood of 70 bushels per acre. The range of all the varieties was uh, preliminary anywhere from 50 to 70, uh, which is quite a range, but uh, also uh, quite respectable for all the different uh, issues. What was apparent to me in some of those strip trials was that some of the varieties were uh, much more infested with sclerotinia than other varieties. And it looked like cross-contamination infection of sclerotinia. In other words, when they lodged, the sclerotinia jumped over to all the other plants. And I believe that that was one of the major uh, yield issues. So the varieties that lodged uh, suffered much great, more greatly due to the, the disease pressure. And uh, based on the overall farm observations, the uh, 252 did very well on a, another field uh, on this farm. Uh, where it was seeded on the 18th of May. And unfortunately, uh, we seeded on the 18th of May about 20 acres, and then the hair seeder had uh, issues that uh, broke us down for four or five days. And that delay in seeding appears to have uh, impacted the uh, 252 yield. Some of the highest yields on this farm came from 252 on the, the other field. And, uh, you know, it was more in the 75 to 80 bushel range. And so the time of seeding needs to always be taken into consideration when uh, these trials are done. On the other hand, uh, very impressive that the L130 uh, basically approached 70 bushels per acre on the trial. And uh, interestingly enough, tonight when we're going to combine uh, you know, a full semi-load or two two full hoppers, uh, about 720 bushels of production. Yeah, we're going to weigh that on a scale and see what what a large scale uh, area of the, the field did here for the L130. And uh, of course, that's what we're doing now. It's night, the end of the day, and uh, we've had a you know, real interesting day right from the start of the morning to now the culmination of uh, some of our work. So in a few minutes here we'll weigh out uh, these two hoppers that we're harvesting and uh, see what uh, the field scale results uh, show us. So I guess we're going to take a look at the final weight here after this nice long day and uh, looks like our final tally is uh, 16,130 kilograms net, which that translates to 35,583 pounds or 711.66 bushels off of 10.06 acres. So 
The final number works out to be 70.74 bushels per acre on a good average of the field. And that kind of jives with what the plot says. So another wonderful day and a, certainly a good day for L130.